Welcome to Engage Spaces. My name is Daniel, and today we're going to be walking through how you can navigate the report space. Let's get started. Here in the report space, you have the ability to oversee any of the reports that you've been assigned, that you're able to review, and that you're able to moderate, or if you're a location admin, the reports that you also oversee as a location admin as well. If you're assigned to a particular report, you can click on the report that you're assigned. You can directly see the outstanding number of reports remaining for that particular report left. You can see when you click on the assigned report, it will show you those reports. Simply click on whatever report is outstanding and remaining, and it'll pull the report directly up on your screen. On this page, you also have the ability to click on the details panel. It'll pull up the list of individuals who the report is assigned to as well as who the report is reviewed by. So you can quickly identify who you're filling this in for um, and who else has access to filling it in. If you'd like to review your report history, uh, you can do so in two ways. If you're currently in a report, you can click on reports history. And it'll bring you back to this page on the outstanding reports. Here on the outstanding reports page, we can come over to overview. On the overview page, this will bring up our charts and information related to all of our current members uh, and the past reports that we filled in for our particular group. You'll notice that there are multiple reports listed on the report page here, one for each group that the report is related to. So if I'm a leader of two different groups, I'll have the report appear twice, one for the Washington DC group and one for the Toronto group. If we review a report, if I click into one of my reports that I review, it'll automatically pull me into the overview tab. This view is the same as the assigned view, but it allows me to quickly review the information related to this report. If however, I moderate a report, that means I have direct control over the data collection, the questions and who the people assigned to the report are. Here as a moderator, I can come in, edit any of the questions, review any of the data, click in to examine the data in more detail and depth, uh, all that can be done from the moderator tab. If you're a location admin, then you'll have your specific location listed here in the reports. Simply click on the report that you wish to review, such as the pre post conference. It will pull open the same view we just saw from the moderate tab. But here in this view, we now are only filtered to Edmonton specific location. Um, so our location specific reports. Additionally, here on the reports space, we also have access to our surveys. Surveys are a great way uh, to collect data about users from across your organization and outside your organization as well. If you are a system admin or our reports moderator, you'll also have access to the reports dashboard located above here. When you click on the reports dashboard, It'll open up the window displaying the different reports from your different uh, collection periods. We can also on this view toggle between the dashboard and managing the report. When we click on manage report, it'll pull up the full list of all the reports that are available for us to oversee and manage. Then simply we can click into any of the reports, also click manage or just click directly onto the report to review more information or to create more reports if we go back and create a new report. And there you have it, just a quick overview of the reports navigation. If you have any other questions or want to learn more, check out engagespaces.com or go to our YouTube channel at engagespaces.